Hi everybody, it's Juliet here. Hope you're all well. Um, I know I missed last week. I have been so busy. I've had a lot of orders um, and I just did not have time. And I know last time, the last video I made, I said we were going to make the bee earrings, but um, as I know a lot of you are still doing your Christmas gifts and things, I thought I would show you this snowflake. It's very quick. Um, and it's kind of perfect, you know, for like last minute gifts and things, um, teacher gifts, whatever. And it's so, so, so simple. So I wanted to um, show you that I've made, this is actually for an order <laughs> that's going out, but um, so I've made one of them. I just need to make um, the matching mate to it. Um, but it's, it's super sparkly um, and I think it's just it's a very pretty little earring so um, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some 15 O's and some 11 O's in I'm using silver lined just clear silver lined um, minor Miyuki um, you're gonna need some four millimeter um, bicones and these are the crystal a B these are Swarovski you're going to need six per earring. So if you're doing a pair of earrings, you're going to need 12. This is just for one. You're going to need a pair of earring wires. And then you're going to need, um, I'm using, these are like frosted um, white. or So they're kind of a little bit like opaque. Um, a little bit, they're kind of, yeah, they're just frosted. I don't know. These are these are really cheap. There's a lot of um, misshapen ones. I don't really like these beads. I got them just in a bead shop that wasn't like it was more like a you know nice beads, not seed bead shop. And actually, I might have even got these in like um, Walmart or something. I don't know. See, this one is like I don't know if you can see. It is. It's just a crappy bead so I'm having to cull a lot of these but anyway it gives a really pretty effect because it kind of makes the whole thing a little bit like you can see the back but it's not really there um, so that's why I'm using those you could just use a regular white or or if you wanted you could change these ones to something else um, this this is what the snowflake pattern is made like the silver lined is what creates this so you could maybe change those to blue or something if you had both 15s and 11s. So you've got 15s, 11s, 11s, four millimeter bicones and earring wire. I'm using six pound fireline in crystal and you're gonna need about one arm's length, um, two, two, two and a half feet probably. And I've got some pliers here just to put the earring wire on at the end. Okay, so I've already threaded my needle. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a decent tail, sort of, let's say, five inches. Um, and then we're going to just pick up six of our silver-lined 11 O's. So six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna push down to the end where our finger is holding, leaving our tail. And we're gonna sew again through the first, the first one and form a ring. All right, just checking my tail. I'm actually gonna slide this down a little bit because it's. A little bit far. Now don't tie any knots or anything at this point. Um, okay, so then we're going to pick up one of our frosted 11 O's and we're going to put one in between. So I'm going into the very next bead that I'm coming out of. We're going to put one in between each of these six. So I'm just going to try and and it's okay, like if the end, you might need to loosen the end a little bit. That's why I told you not to um, tie it at this point. 
because you want them to kind of sit. So they should be kind of sticking out a little bit like that. Um, and just try and keep your tail out of the way. I'm just going into each picked up two. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on. Okay. Go back down there. All right. I picked up two by accident there. Hang on. to continue on when I'm going through my very last one I'm going to continue on into the next frosted um, bead as well okay so it should just look like that okay so I'm coming out of the frosted bead. So I went through the silver line and came out the frosted. Now we're going to pick up three frosteds and go into the next one. And we're going to do this all the way around. And it's just going to make a little peak like that. So we're just picking up three and go into the next one. So one, two, three, and into the next one, just like that, all the way around. Three frosteds into the next frosted. See, these are not, um, because these are irregular shapes, they don't always sit very nicely. Um, if you have better beads, then you'll have better luck. However, it comes out cute, like nobody's going to be looking that closely at this earring, so it's more the effect that we want. I'm just kind of checking that these beads are okay as I go. Okay, I've got one more to go. Okay. So now here on the last one, you're going to go into this frosted that's between these two silvers. And then you're going to continue up the next two that we added on that last round. So you're coming out from one of the points. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up one frosted one of our four millimeter, I almost said six, four millimeter bicones and one frosted seed bead again. So you've got one, one, one. And you're coming out here, you're gonna go into the next point over on the little star that we've um, kind of created. So it's just gonna sit in there just like that, okay? And we're going to do that all the way around. So you're going to pick up seed bead, bicone, seed bead. So seed bead, bicone, seed bead. And into the next point. We're just going to keep going all the way around. Seed bead, bicone, and seed bead, 
come to the next point, seed bead, bicone, and seed bead into the next point. And I've, I'm just trying to keep my tail like behind my work, basically. Um, just holding it out of the way. Um, don't tie it because you're going to need to tighten it up at the end. So um, please don't tie it. Okay. Last one. So seed bead bicone seed bead. And I'm going to... So you need to look here where the point is. That and that and that are what we just added. So I'm actually going to go into this bead right here. That's the last of the inner um, star shape that we're going into. Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a cold that I'm getting over. Okay, now we're going to continue up through the frosted seed bead and the bicone that we've just added in the last round. So we are now exiting from coming out from this bicone. Okay, so you should have this. We're going to pick up four of our um, frosted 11-0's. So four. One, two, three, four. Oops. And we're just going to go straight into the next bicone. We're going to do this all the way around. Keep going, picking up four, and all the way into the next bicone. Okay, one, two, three, four, into the next bicone. And the last set of four, one, two, three, four, and into the next bicone. Alright, so we've now got this, and we're coming out this bicone. We're going to go up the next two seed beads that we literally just added in that round. So I'm coming out from these two, and I'm going to pick up one of my silver lined 11 O's. And I'm going to go just into the next two, and through the bicone, and through the next two. So I'm going through the next two, the bicone, and the next two. And that's going to create a little like point there for us. We're going to do that all the way around. So you're going to pick up your 11 O, and then you're going to go through the next two, your bicone, and the next two. So two, bicone, two. And it's just going to create a nice little point at the end there. Actually, that's a 15 that got mixed in. I have. I do a lot of projects that use 15s and 11s of silver lines, and quite often they tend to get a little bit mixed up on my bat. So I'm always picking 11s out of my 15s and 15s out of my 11s. It's very annoying. Uh, and two. You don't have to go through in one shot. I'm just doing it because it's quicker. 
you can work individually through each little bead if you want to. Okay, so now we're going to just, I've, we're coming up to the last one, so I'm just going to go down these two and into the bicone. So I'm just coming out the bicone there, okay? I'm coming out from this bicone. Now we're gonna um, hang on. I'm just we're done with the 11 O's. I'm gonna move them out of the way, and I'm gonna move my 15s over so I can reach them better. Okay, so now we're gonna work with our 15 O's. So we're gonna pick up. Um, okay, we're coming out there. So we're gonna pick up. Six of our 15 O's. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that is six. Six. Okay. And we're going to look here. So I'm coming out of this bicone right here. See how there's a silver bead right here that's like below this one? We're going to go into that from the side that we're on. So we're on this side of it. So we're going to go into this silver bead right here. Just that silver bead. And then we're going to go up back through the first four 15 O's that we picked up of that six. So we're going to go through four. Okay. And just pull that nice and tight. Now we're going to pick up two of our 15 O's and we're going to go into the next bicone only. So I'm just going into the next bicone. So if you can see, that's kind of added like a little Y shape. So we added six and then we went back, we went through this silver line right here and then we went back up through the first four and then we added two more. And we're now coming out from this bicone. So we're going to again pick up six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yep, yeah, six. And again, I'm going to go through the next silver lined 11 O. Then I'm going to go back through the first four 15 O's. And just pull that, make sure that's nice and snugged. There's no extra wiggle. Um, and then we're going to pick up two of our 15 O's and we're going to go into the next bicone. Okay, so just keep doing that all the way around. You're going to add six and Go back up through four and add two more. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Through the silver bead on the base. And then I'm going to go up the first four. This is the tricky bit actually, right here. Trying to go back up. Snug it up so there's no extra thread and into, pick up your two and into the next bicone. Okay, I'm going to pause that and I'm going to finish my next three and then I will come back and show you how to put the loop on the top. 
Okay, so I'm just doing my very last um, little Y shape. Snug it up and do my last two 15s and into the bicone. cone. Now we just need to put the loop on the top. So what I'm going to do is move forward till I get to a silver lined bead on the edge here. So that's going to be our top. So what I'm going to do now is pick up five 15 O's. One, two, three, four, five and I'm just going to sew through the silver lined again and up through the very first 15 -0 that I just added and then I'm going to pick up one more 15 -0. and I'm going to go through the very next bead that's sitting right next to the one that I'm coming out of to skip the next bead and I'm going to go into the one after that. And what that should do is create like a point. Okay? And then I'm going to pick up one more 15-0 and go right into the very next bead and through the 11-0 on the bottom. Okay, so this should create like a little um, diamond shape, okay? So you've gone through the first one, you've added one. You've gone through this, you've skipped one that's already there, you've gone through the next one, you've added one, you've gone through this one and back through the base again. Now I'm just going to go all the way around again just to reinforce. So I'm just going through all of the beads that are in this loop here. If I can get through them. There we go. Go, go, go. And then... I'm going to move away, so I'm going to just travel through to the next point on the edge, on the outside edge. So I'm coming out from the next point and I'm going to tie off my end. So you just go up through with your needle up through that hole there. And my, my thread's pretty short, so I'm going to push my needle and then I'm going to grab the thread and I'm just going to pull this and make a knot. And the knot should just disappear in between your beads. Then I'm just going to go through the next few beads. Um, yeah, I've got enough room to do another. I, my thread is actually quite short, so I'm just going to do one more knot right here. And then I'm going to travel through Now at the next point. And then I can just cut that thread off. Um, and now 
we're going to tighten up the middle because sometimes it can get a little bit loose right at the beginning there. So I'm just going to thread my um, tail end. And figure out where I'm coming out. Okay, so I'm coming out from this bead right here on this side. So we're just going to sew through the silver lined beads. We're not going to sew through the frosted beads. Once you get all the way around, you're going to give it a little bit of a tug. And it's just going to tighten everything up. It actually, you can feel the entire earring kind of tighten up a little bit when you do it. See how that's just kind of, it's, it's actually kind of pulled the whole thing a little bit more solid for me. Um, that's the back I'm working on, by the way. It's just easier to show you on the back. So I've tugged that. I'm going to just work my way now through um, till I get to the outer edge so I can tie it off. So I'm just following the bead path. to the pie cone in there. Okay, there we are. I made it to the edge. Yay. I'm just going to tie a knot right here next to this pie cone, I think. Ooh, and then we're just going to go through the next couple beads. Um, I'm just going to go through this bicone and then I'm just going to cut my thread. Okay, so there we go. We've got our earring. So now all you have to do is just literally twist your earring wire open. and slip on slip it on and then just twist it shut again and that's it we're done and you've got some really pretty quick cute little earrings winter earrings that are super sparkly so i hope you've enjoyed this project um, next week, hopefully, I'll be get back to the bees that I was going to show you, and um, I will see you all then. Bye for now.